Hi everyone, welcome to the Move More YouTube channel. Thank you all so much for joining me today. My name is Marissa, if you don't know me yet, and let's begin on our 30 minute vinyasa yoga class. We're gonna begin in child's pose today. So we're gonna start down on the floor. If you have really tight knees, you are welcome to grab whatever assistance you need. So if you wanna put a blanket or another yoga mat behind your knees so that you don't bend down as far to make yourself more comfortable, find what you need. We'll start with a wide leg child's pose. So my knees are gonna be out as wide as the mat. My toes are together and we're gonna lean forward, placing the hands on the mat in front of us and slowly resting your forehead on the mat. And once you're here, let's just close your eyes and take a few moments to find your breath. We'll breathe in through our nose and out through the mouth. And just begin to slow your breath down, starting to feel your belly push against your thighs on the inhales. With each exhale, try to relax your body. Try to let your shoulders relax and the jaw relax. And deep breath in through the nose. And on your next exhale, let's walk both of your hands to the left side of the mat. So you get a really good deep stretch into that right shoulder. Should feel it all the way from the right hip all the way through to the fingertips. On your next exhale, reverse this, walking both hands over to the right. On your exhale, walk the hands back to center and slowly lift the hips up off of the ground. Let's move into tabletop. So I'm gonna have my knees underneath my hips and my wrists underneath my shoulders. Really spread those fingertips out and let's think about turning the elbow creases towards the short side of the mat. Let's make our spine one long line. So pull the belly button up, draw the shoulders down and back and just come back to the breath in this neutral spot. Very good, and let's come off of the wrist for a moment. So we're gonna drop down to our elbows. So a slight variation of puppy dog pose. We're just gonna take a moment, let our wrists breathe. And while we're here, let's nod our head yes. And shake the head no. Very good, returning back to tabletop. And we're getting ready to go right into our first downward dog. So we're gonna turn those toes underneath. We're gonna slowly lift our knees off of the ground, beginning to straighten the legs and lower the heels to the ground. Really lift with the shoulders, lift up with the hips. And try to draw the chest towards the knees. And slowly begin to walk your feet forward and we'll meet in forward fold. So let the hands hang heavy, let the neck and the crown hang heavy. Up 
On your next inhale, we'll lift halfway, so place the hands on the shins and lengthen the spine. We're gonna hold this pose for just a moment. So find the breath. Watch the belly button, tuck it under so that we can lengthen the spine. We don't wanna have any arches or sways going. And on your next exhale, forward fold. Slightly bend in the knees and we'll roll it up nice and slowly. Very good, lifting the chin and the focus up last. Awesome job, let's take a deep breath in and draw the arms up overhead. Exhale, bring the arms back down. Let's do that one more time. Arms up, overhead, lead with the palms facing up. And exhale, bring the hands down. Very good. We'll move now into our warrior one pose. So I'm gonna keep my left foot planted and I'm gonna step back with my right foot. I'm stepping back and I'm dropping the right heel on the ground keeping my hips squared with the short side of the mat, bending the left knee over the left ankle, and when you feel ready, take the arms up overhead. Keep the breath nice and calm, and if you feel like you can challenge yourselves a little more and walk a little deeper, keep going. Keep the tummy nice and tight. One more deep breath in. And exhale, move into warrior two. Open your chest up to the front, long side of your mat. Maybe you need to widen your stance just a little bit. Lower your arms parallel with the floor. Palms are facing down. If you feel nice and balanced, you can take your focus over the left hand. Really keep energy in the hands all the way through the fingertips. Keep the core tight. Squeeze the legs, deep breath in. On our exhale, we're reversing the warrior, so I'm lowering the back arm, reaching my left arm up to the ceiling. My focus has also gone up to the ceiling as well. One more deep breath in. And exhale, we're gonna hinge it forward. So my left arm is going to the left thigh. My right arm is gonna start by reaching up towards the ceiling. And then once I feel comfortable, I can begin to lengthen that reach and reach it towards the front of the room. On our next inhale, return to warrior two. Lift the chest up, take the arms back parallel, and now we're gonna straighten the left leg. So both of my legs are now straight, but my toes are still facing the way they were in the warrior pose. We're gonna move into a triangle pose. So draw that right hip back, begin to lean over towards the left leg, really reaching for the ground. Try not to use that left leg to hold your weight, let that core really work for you. One more deep breath in through the nose. And on the exhale, I'm lowering both hands to the ground and I am gonna turn that back heel so that it is now off of the ground and both of my hips are squared with the short side of the mat. And I'm in a wide angled pose. From here, I'm gonna bend my front knee and going into a deep lunge, and I'm gonna lower that right knee to the ground. You should really be feeling this all the way up into that right hip. Shift the weight back, and now I'm gonna rock that left toe off of the ground, so now we're really getting a deep stretch into the left leg. Try to draw the nose to the knee.
Shifting that weight back to the front. Planting the hands. We're gonna lift the back knee off of the ground and we're gonna move into downward dog. Step the left foot back and just pedal it out. Drop both heels down, deep breath in. Exhale, really push the heels down, draw the shoulders down. And now slowly walk the feet forward to a forward fold. And hang heavy for a moment. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Slightly bend the knees and roll it all the way up. Very good. Now we'll repeat all of those warriors on the opposite side. So planting the right foot, we'll step back with the left leg. Dropping the left heel to the ground, right knees over the right ankle. My back heel is just past the toes and when you feel ready, take the arms up overhead. Keep the breath calm, in through the nose and out through the mouth. One more breath in and exhale, opening up to warrior two. Go ahead and widen that stance, lower the arms down, palms facing the ground. Trying to draw the shoulders down and back. On your next exhale, reverse the warrior, dropping the left arm down, reaching the right arm up to the ceiling. You can take your focus up to the ceiling if you'd like. On your next exhale, hinge it forward, taking the right arm to the thigh and reaching that left arm up to the ceiling or towards the front of the room. Inhale, bringing yourself back up to warrior two. Arms are back to parallel. Let's straighten the right leg. Let's shift those hips towards the left and begin to reach the right arm down to the ground. On your next exhale, take both hands to the mat, turn that left heel, square both hips off, and let's pause here in this wide angle pose. Trying to draw the nose to the knee. On your next exhale, bending the front knee and slowly lowering the back knee to the ground. And pause here in this deep lunge. On your exhale, hinge it back, shifting the weight into the left leg, bringing that right toe off of the ground. Again, trying to meet the nose to the knee. Great job. Walk those hands back to the front. Lift the back toe, lift the back knee, and let's return to downward dog. Adjust your feet so that you can be in however you feel most comfortable. And pedal it out.
slowly begin to walk the feet forward to a forward fold. And take your time and hang heavy. All right, you can stay where you are. I'm gonna turn so that I can face you, but let's walk our toes into touching. Bring the knees into touching. In our next pose, we're gonna move into chair pose. So take a deep breath in. On the exhale, begin to bend the knees and lower the hips. And on your next inhale, lift the chest up, bring the arms up overhead, in line with the ears, and keep that bend in the knee and the hips. Try to keep the back straight. So we wanna to try to avoid arching. We wanna really tuck the tailbone under, really keep that length in the spine. Don't lose it. Keep it tight, keep the core tight. One more deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. We're gonna move into chair one more time. So toes together, knees together, deep breath in. Exhale, bend the knees, lower the hips. Inhale, raise the arms up, lift the chest. Hold the breath, don't hold the breath, hold the pose, keep breathing. Exhale, draw the palms to the heart, hands together. All right, now we're gonna work on some twisting here. On our next exhale, I'm reaching my left elbow towards the right knee. Keep the knees bent. One more breath. Inhale back to center. I know it's burning, keep the burn, inhale. Exhale, reverse. Give me two good breaths here and then we'll come out. Inhale, bring everything back to center. Lift the body up to a full standing position, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Good, pedal those feet out, and let's go ahead and take them back to shoulder width apart. Hip width apart. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Bending at the knees. Inhale, roll it all the way up. Exhale at the top. Inhale, take the arms up overhead. All right, on your exhale, we're shifting the weight into the left leg. I'm gonna take my arms to cactus pose and I'm slowly gonna lift my right leg up. Trying to bring the knee in line with the hip and go ahead and put a flex in that foot. If you're not able to go that high, that's okay. If you need to keep that toe on the ground for a balance, start there. But slowly begin to lift the knee up. One more breath in. Hold it on the exhale. Inhale, take the right foot down and the arms overhead. Getting ready to reverse. Shifting the weight into the right leg. Exhale, bring the hands to cactus. Begin to lift the left leg up. Starting to warm our ankles up. We're gonna move into eagle pose next. Inhale, dream, bringing the foot down and the arms up. Very good, rain those hands down, bring everything back down, and let's roll the shoulders for a moment. And reverse the roll, bring them to the front. Awesome, okay, so moving into eagle pose. So from here, we're gonna start with our left foot as our base, and we're gonna cross the right foot over. So now all of our weight is going into the left foot. I'm gonna try to bring my knees together. So to do that, I'm gonna bend that left knee slightly and bring the right knee into that pocket. So this is where we're gonna start with our foot still on the ground. Our knees are crossed and we're gonna start with that bend. Let's inhale and take the arms up overhead, bringing the palms together. Exhale, I'm lowering the elbows 
And my first attempt is to let the elbows meet in front of my face. So this is where you're going to begin. Let's all pause here. We'll move through two more breath cycles. So if you'd like to go into full eagle pose, cross at the elbows and bring the palms back together so you can get a really good deep shoulder stretch. And then you can continue to bend the knee and bring the ankles in line with each other next. Keep the breath calm. One more breath, guys, in through the nose, out through the mouth. And inhale, release the foot, take the arms up overhead. Exhale, bring it all down by your side. Awesome, let's do that on the opposite side. Inhale, take the arms up. Begin to shift the weight into the right leg. Bring the palms together, and let's just lower them to the heart for a moment. And let's go back to our feet, cross the left foot over the right. Let's bring the knees together, so slightly bending the right knee, letting the left knee pocket right onto it. Very good. All right, from here, bring the elbows together, slightly lifting the elbows up. All right, we've held the base pose. Let's take it another step further. Cross the arms. We can start with the palm, the back of the hands together. You can keep it going by bringing the palms together. And then slowly wrap the ankles. One more breath in through the nose. Let it out. Inhale, take the arms up overhead, bring the both feet down. Exhale, forward fold. And let the crown hang heavy. Let the base the top of the head all the way down to the ground. Great job. From here, we're gonna lower ourselves back to tabletop. So take the knees down to the ground and take the hands underneath the shoulders. Very good. We're gonna move through a few cat cows here. So on your next inhale, take your focus up and let's lower the belly towards the ground. And on your exhale, reverse. Bring the belly button up towards the spine, around the shoulders and draw the chin into the chest. Keep this going at your own pace. Good, one more time. Let's come back to a neutral spot. On your next inhale, I'd like for you to lift the left arm up parallel with the floor. And then when you exhale, we're gonna thread that left hand through the right arm and the right knee. So the back of my hand is now on the ground and I'm slowly gonna lower to put my left shoulder on the ground. If you wanna get a lot out of this, you can rock those hips and just find where it feels good for you. Should be a gentle twist in the spine, but a really good deep stretch in the shoulder. Keep the breath steady. Hopefully you're noticing that your breath is naturally slowing down. And let's inhale, return back to center. Getting ready to reverse. Deep breath in, lifting the right arm up this time. And when you exhale, thread it through, dropping that right shoulder to the ground. And again, you can push the weight into that right hip to really get a good stretch.
And on your next inhale, return back to tabletop. We'll just move through a few more cat cows here on your own. Wiggle how you want. Don't have to follow cat cows. Just loosen the spine up. Very good. And on your next inhale, we're gonna lift off of the wrists and push ourselves up onto our knees. We're gonna move through a camel pose here. So to get us started, if you're a beginner to this, you can turn those toes under, so not so far of a reach. And let's take our arms out in front of you. Deep breath in. On your exhale, we're only gonna reach one arm back. So take my right arm back to my heel, start to let the back open up, and you can reach that left arm up to the ceiling. Deep breath in. And exhale, bring it back to center. Awesome. Let's reverse that. Reach the left arm back and take the right arm up to the ceiling. Deep breath in and exhale, bring it all back. All right, let's take both arms back to the heels. And if this doesn't feel like a challenge, you're welcome to drop all the way down so that it's a very deep, good reach. Both hands to the heels. Push the hips forward, push the chest up. The chin should also go up towards the ceiling. One more deep breath in and exhale. Bring it all back up. Great job. Let's lower yourselves onto your backs. So let's swing those feet in front of you. I'm taking my feet flat on the floor and I will lower myself all the way down. My knees are still up to the ceiling. Let's just place your hands in a comfortable spot. And just pause and find your breath. Let's rock our knees side to side. On your next exhale, let's let both knees fall to one side, however they choose. Just finishing our class today with a nice gentle twist. Check the shoulders, make sure they're still drawn down and tucked back together. Inhale, move back to center. And exhale, reverse. Inhale, back to center. And on the exhale, I'd like you to pull your knees into your chest. You can use your hands to help support. Pulling them in nice and tight. Try to turn the tailbone so that the whole back is on the floor. Deep breath in and exhale. We're gonna open the knees so that they fall a little bit towards our shoulders. Just widen the hips. And slowly lowering the feet to the floor. 
Let's bring the toes together, but let the knees stay out. And on your next exhale, take your feet out to a straight position. <clears throat> we'll finish today in full savasana. Place your arms wherever you're comfortable and try to be completely still. All you have to think about right now is your breath, keeping it steady and keeping it calm. We'll take one final breath all together, in through the nose, and push it out through the mouth. Great job, everyone. Begin to wiggle the fingers and wiggle the toes. Begin to move the arms and the feet. And whenever you feel ready, you can roll to one side and sit yourself up. Wonderful job day. Wonderful job, you all. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Please like this video and share if you know anyone else who needs a little motivation to move more. Bye.